All right, so as you all probably know, today is a special day where people go around and buy subpar chocolates and overpriced bouquets of flowers for their loved ones. And luckily for me, my wife doesn't really like flowers, and nor does she like chocolate because it gives her headaches. So I had to figure out a different gift to give her. Now, if I was being honest with you all, the gift that I could give her that would make her extremely happy would be money. I mean, who's going to complain about a gift card or something like that? But at the end of the day, since we both share the same bank account, I don't feel like there's a purpose of giving money from the same bank account to her when she can just take it as she wants. So I thought, what better gift than to make her her own little code pin with a custom Valentine's Day message in it. So this is what I made for you, Tina. Happy Valentine's Day. This is to my wife, Tina. Happy Valentine's Day. I love you with all my heart. Isn't this so sweet? If a gift like this doesn't lead to bed sheet spunking, I don't know what will. All right, love you, babe. So let me just go ahead and walk you through how I built this for those who are interested in how you build something like this with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So starting off in the HTML, it's nothing too extravagant. I have a panel here, which has the text here. And the panel is a glass morphic panel. So I just Googled glass morphic generator, which led me to this site where you can basically change some blur values, change some transparency, set a color, or show an outline, and you copy the CSS. And that is what I did. I pasted that CSS directly here. And that is how you get that cool glass morphic blurred hearts in the background with a panel. So the next step is we have all these hearts that are generating at the top of the page, set in a random X location, and then kind of dropping with a random um, changing X value in a static Y value. So let's just try to walk through that. I'll show you the JavaScript and then maybe show you the styling of how that works. So the first thing I did is I made an array of hearts and then also an array of colors. So we needed some various pinks to make it look a little nice. So I typed in um, pinks on this site and just kind of grabbed different monochromatic pinks, copy the first three, and that is what we're using as the heart color. And then for making the heart shapes, okay, I'll show you that in a second. But basically, I'm just making a heart class, and we are just constructing a, a heart object that has an X and a Y, and then also a random theta. So the random theta is basically used for the swaying, or the floating. And then we create three divs, right? To make these heart shapes, you need three different divs. You need a rectangle that is rotated 45 degrees, and then you need two circles on top of it. And the way I figured that out was by Googling. I found this, who basically shows you how you can do it with CSS. Um, and by doing that, you just make three divs, you put them all next to each other in a particular way, and then you append them to the page. And then I'm basically deleting them after 10 seconds so that it doesn't freeze up my browser. But let's move on to the cool part. So we have an interval that every 20, 200 milliseconds, it spawns a random heart somewhere between the zero and the width of the container here. So that's why we do math.random times window.inner width. I don't know why this keeps scrolling. This code pen is super buggy. And then down here, we have an interval that calls an update function on the heart to make them drop and sway back and forth. Now for the update function, that is just part of the class. That is a, a member of the class, I guess you could say, or a function on the class. I think you can say it's a member. But all this function does is it basically increments the X direction using a math.cosine of that theta and timesing it by one so that it'll go from left to right. And then the, the Y is dropped in a, a constant Y direction of one every time. And then we also increase the theta so that it'll go left to right and change. And then we just update the styling to make it move. And that is basically how you do it in JavaScript. There's nothing too, too fancy about it. I guess I could show the CSS. So the body has a um, flex box on it so I can just kind of center this panel and a height of 100%. The heart is just a box with a width of 50, height of 50, a rotation of 45. Remember the, the the square is talked about that's rotated. This is the bottom of the heart. And this is the top left and the top right of it. Just a circle that's kind of positioned absolute and moved up to the right and left. And I think that's it. So that's all I have to share with you all. I decided to share something for the holiday and I hope you all enjoy watching this and learn something from it. If you like this video, be sure to like, give me a comment below, um, and then subscribe to my channel if you're new. That's all I have to say to you all. So happy Valentine's Day and later all.